Have you ever wondered why your stainless steel spoon is perfectly safe to eat with, but you'd never see a plate made of lead? Or why some pans proudly advertise they're made of food-grade aluminum while others warn against metal leaching? It turns out not all metals are created equal when it comes to your food. Some are trusted in kitchens around the world, others not so much. Today we're diving into the fascinating world of metals and answering the big question, why are some metals food safe while others are toxic? Right here on History of Simple Things. Let's start with something simple. A metal is considered food safe when it doesn't react dangerously with the food it touches. That means it won't corrode easily, leach harmful chemicals, or change the taste or smell of what you're eating. But not all metals behave the same way. Some are stable, meaning they don't break down when exposed to acids, heat, or moisture. Others, they're reactive, and that's where the problems begin. There are a few key qualities that make a metal safe for food contact. One, corrosion resistance. If a metal rusts or corrodes easily, that can introduce harmful substances into your food. Two, non-reactivity. Some foods like tomatoes or vinegar are acidic, and that acidity can react with certain metals, breaking them down. Three, stability under heat. Metals used in cookware need to withstand high temperatures without releasing toxic fumes or breaking down. When a metal checks these boxes, it's typically safe for use with food. That's why stainless steel, for example, is such a kitchen superstar. If there's one metal that's practically synonymous with food safe, it's stainless steel. It's everywhere. Pots, pans, forks, sinks, you name it. Stainless steel is actually an alloy, which means it's made by combining iron with other metals like chromium and nickel. The key player here is chromium. It forms a super thin, invisible layer on the surface that prevents rust and corrosion. And even if that layer gets damaged, say you scratch the pan with a metal spoon, it heals itself. That's why stainless steel is so durable and safe over time. Now, not all stainless steel is created equally. For food contact, grades like 304 or 316 are the gold standard. They're resistant to acids and high heat, and they don't leach harmful elements into food. But cheaper stainless steels with lower chromium content can corrode, especially in salty or acidic conditions. Next up, aluminum. It's lightweight, conducts heat like a dream, and it's cheap. That's why it's so common in cookware. But here's the catch. Raw aluminum is pretty reactive. Acidic foods can break it down, and trace amounts of aluminum can end up in your food. For that reason, most aluminum cookware is either anodized, which adds a protective, non-reactive layer, or coated with a non-stick surface. There was once concern that aluminum exposure might be linked to Alzheimer's disease, but according to current research, the amounts you get from properly treated cookware are so low that they're considered safe. Still, if your aluminum pot is scratched or pitted, it's best to replace it. Copper cookware looks gorgeous, and chefs love it because it heats evenly and responds quickly to temperature changes but raw copper in food don't mix well. It can react with acidic foods and leach into whatever you're cooking, which can lead to copper toxicity. Symptoms can include nausea, stomach cramps, or worse, if it builds up over time. That's why most copper pots are lined with another metal, like stainless steel or tin. These linings act as a barrier, keeping the copper safely separated from your food. But if the lining gets damaged, that cookware becomes a health risk. Cast iron is beloved for its ability to retain heat and develop a natural non-stick surface when seasoned properly. And believe it or not, it can even add small amounts of iron to your food, which can be a good thing. 
especially for people with iron deficiencies. The trick is in the seasoning. When you coat cast iron with oil and heat it, it forms a layer of polymerized fat that protects the metal. Without it, raw cast iron can rust, and that rust can flake off into your food. It's not toxic in small amounts, but it definitely doesn't taste good. So while cast iron is food safe, it takes a little maintenance to stay that way. Now let's talk about the dangerous ones. Some metals are never safe around food, like lead and cadmium. Lead was once used in things like ceramic glazes, water pipes, and even food containers. But we now know it's highly toxic, especially for children. It can damage the nervous system, lower IQ, and cause long-term health issues. That's why modern cookware and dishes should always be labeled lead-free. Cadmium is another red flag. It's sometimes found in brightly colored ceramic glazes or cheap metal coatings. Like lead, it's toxic even in small doses and can build up in the kidneys over time. If you're ever buying ceramic ware from an unknown source, or anything with an unusually vibrant glaze, it's worth checking if it's certified as food safe. You've probably seen the term food grade on metal containers, tools, or packaging. But what does it actually mean? In many countries, food grade materials must meet strict standards set by agencies like the FDA or the European Food Safety Authority. That means the metal won't leach harmful substances degrade over time, or react with food in unsafe ways. Some manufacturers also use the term food safe, which usually means the same thing, but it's always good to check if a product is certified by a reputable agency. So why are some metals food safe while others are toxic? It all comes down to chemistry, how a metal behaves when it meets heat, moisture, and acidity. Some stay stable and safe, Others break down, react, or release harmful substances. Understanding which metals are safe and how to use them properly can protect your health and keep your food tasting just the way it should. So next time you reach for a pan or grab a fork, take a moment to appreciate the science behind your kitchen tools, because when it comes to metals and food, what you don't know could make all the difference. Thank you for watching. If you have suggestions for our next video, feel free to share them in the comments below. We'll be sure to give you an acknowledgement for your contribution. Thank you for joining us on this journey through the history of simple things. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and stay tuned for more stories woven through the smallest details.